Arts team will present our research topic about how Taoism influences contemporary Chinese society. Uh, throughout this presentation, we will focus on three lenses. Firstly, uh, the cultural lens. Secondly, uh, the lens about food. And thirdly, about architecture. So, um, yeah, let's move on. First, I will do the introduction to Taoism. So, what is Taoism? This is a very crucial question. And that is why we decided to start the presentation and to answer this. So literally, Taoism means the teaching of the way. And it is a widely influential religion that started back in the 4th century BC. Uh, it was made by a man named Laozi and uh, was first recorded in his book named Zaldoji. And later on, the religion of Taoism branched out into uh, many forms because there are a lot of people that um, like agree with the beliefs of Taoism. So uh, it really gave it a very rich and um, diverse context of Taoism. In fact, uh, the meanings behind Taoism are so large and complicated, it's uh, kind of impossible to conclude with one sentence. But we will talk about some of the main aspects of Taoism. For example, Taoism focuses on uh, the balance between man and nature. There is a term in Taoism called feng shui, or literally the wind and the water, in which um, you know the balance between the natural resources and elements and uh, human activities are try to like they try to balance out each other, and that is uh, in fact that is a principle of that influences many of the teachings of Taoism that we will uh, talk about later in this presentation. So currently there are over one. 183 million disciples of Taoism in China, making it one of the uh, biggest religions in China, and that is why it has a huge foundation and basis for its wide influence. So um, now we will talk about the profound impacts Taoism has made into Chinese society. Firstly, we will talk about uh, how it influences the traditions and uh, way of living of Chinese people. Okay, going on to my colleagues. Um, saying about <coughs> Taoism's and beliefs. Uh, this belief in the tradition of China, of China was interconnected. Uh, so beliefs is basically in all roots of Chinese tradition. Like for example, in traditions, um, in Fino, we, we wear white clothes in term to say honor to the past elderly. And also, <coughs> as they are believing something which uh, my colleague has said, Feng shui, which is basically a lay, the lay of nature, its effect on certain events. And though it was in the roots, but there still <coughs> will be saying good and bad characteristics leading to this factor. As for example, <coughs> the one good factor is that we do have um, a sort of values. We evaluate um, our actions and also <coughs> our tradition was um, to develop a more unique culture. But to the saying that the old, old tradition beliefs of Taoism actually is outdated as compared to the <coughs> traditions and and the beliefs we have today as it was seen as orthodox. So I'll say that Taoist beliefs and traditions do have its side both ways. Spiritual and religious talking are an important and rapidly expanding field in recent years. For the Chinese, traditional Taoism may still have a strong impact um, on the mental health of their uh, and their daily life. Um, Taoism focuses on how to reach a balance between human and nature. Uh, the way we think turned out to be the most influential to our way to cook. It is a huge part of the influence of Taoism. When chili was introduced to China for the first time, the Linan area was um, felt the great benefits of chili. Linan, a place which um, most days of the year is wet, so people need chili to remove cold and wet in their bodies. But when the Taoism spread into this area, has already made a huge change. Nowadays, people in Linnan most likely to eat light food, and at the same time, the Linnan diet not only performing the taste of food, but also 
in the cooking styles. So most of the time, people use steaming to cook food. In this way, food will maintain fresh and keep their original flavor. The influence of Taoism's on diet is that it enriched the form of regional diet. The concept of the health care is particularly important in the Lingnan area, precisely because the influence of Taoism. Taoism is more inclined to not kill <coughs> and eat less. It won't influence the common people, but for the monks, they may um, lack of the elements required by the body. Okay, so next we'll talk about how Taoism influences uh, architecture styles in China. Okay, so uh, what I'd like to talk about is, so uh, the influence made by uh, Taoism to the architecture is apparently seen in China. So people, um, because of the influence made by Taoism, people saw like um, the location of the house and the furniture, like the bed, the mirror, um, that what they were made to like unlucky because they the not correct location. So um, they mostly they were find uh, like a geomancer or fortune teller um, to help you to count like uh, how your arrangement like the um, furniture and uh, your house location. And they count on the approach. The approach like they count the location is uh, made by based on your like when you born like the master of the house. And some people like they want to make them very lucky, so they they do even like to count the time like the specific time like they enter the house. So um, it, I I guess like the pro of like the influence of made by Taoism on um, architecture is like so if you um if you make like the but like. Um, they will make you lucky, like if you find that your mentor and the fortune teller is what they tell, what they tell you is correct. I mean, like they are not liars, but the cons is like um, you will spend a lot of money, but meaningless because maybe you made a liar or something. So as a conclusion, Taoism made really profound impacts and wide impact on Chinese society, and we also an uh, analyzed these impacts. So there are pros and cons for everything. The pro side of Taoism's impact is that it really helped enrich the cultural context of Chinese culture because many of the culture we see today are uh, born from Taoism principles and, um, and, and meanings. And also it gave uh, Chinese people a sense of cultural unity and belonging. So that is the pro side. The con side is that um, with Taoism there comes many superstitions and that might go against scientific developments. So for example, like we said, um, we might arrange something in a room that might not achieve its maximum efficiency, but according to Taoism principles, it's best to bring us luck. So that is the concept of its influence on Chinese culture and Chinese society. And um, then we have references. Considering your topic, what was the most difficult aspect of your research?
people they say like for sure in this place you will like be unlucky or lucky like that kind of it's a it's about for sure it's difficult to um describe but it's like that. Yeah. Um, Tyler, what um solutions would you like to provide for the misconceptions <coughs> about Taoist um Taoist beliefs? Um, yeah, what solutions would you prefer for the misconceptions about Taoist beliefs? Okay, so, um, well, Taoism, like I said, actually has a very broad impact on Chinese society that is sometimes largely, largely neglected because you know, most people in China are not religious, so there might be some misunderstandings of Taoism and what it really stands for. And um, under such circumstances, I believe we can... Um, put Taoism as a part of the cultural ed education in our courses in, in, in class to spread the ideas of Taoism to our students and to let the Chinese people know more about their own religion and um, you know, to eliminate all these misunderstandings. Yeah. Atlan, how has your, um, how has um, Tyler's individual research contribute, uh, com contributed to your own ideas about Taoist beliefs and Taoism in general? Um, how is Taoism in general? How has his own research contributed to your beliefs in Taoism? Um, so Tyler actually started to Okay.